and welcome to Draw and Paint for Life. This is week 28. Oh my goodness, what an amazing school year it has been with you. One of tremendous expansion for me personally, in terms of my teaching, and I'm so grateful that you're here and wanting and willing to learn art. And I hope that you make it your whole life, which is why the program is called Draw and Paint for Life. So um, I wanted to let you know about this beautiful artist whose name is Alma Thomas. And she is um, really an inspiration. She was an African-American artist who worked her whole life teaching until the age of 67 and then started her professional painting career upon retirement. Um, she in incorporated her experience of nature and technology into all of um, her work. And it has this elegant, beautiful simplicity. Her work um, was in the personal private quarters of the Obama family during their time in the uh, White House. So please check out the video. We're looking at one of my favorite colors, alizarin crimson. And this is kind of like a derivation of magenta. It's a beautiful blue red. So here's what happens when you mix it with black. Isn't that interesting? Kind of goes mauve. With white, makes a beautiful rose color. With blue, it goes purple. With yellow, it goes orange. And with red, it's just more red. So there we go. Um, and we're drawing bears. So let's get to it. Thank you so much for being here. Bye-bye. Okay, so <clears throat> here were my tracings of bears. And some of those as well, which was really fun. So let's look at how we draw the bear. And I just want to review with you the structure of our art books weekly. So here's the um, color mixing, color theory part. This introduces our artist for the week with a reminder of the YouTube video. And then we have our tracing page where if you take the time to trace it, I think you'll be so surprised how much you learn and have fun with it. And again, you don't need to do anything you don't wanna do because art class is all about you and your choices and your preferences. And then this, I'm calling the jump page where we trace and then jump to um, to drawing. And I'm just gonna show you what that looks like. So I would trace the bear here with animals. I'm discovering the way I like to draw them is always with, I like to start close to the ears for whatever reason, the ears make me very comfortable. As you draw this bear, as you trace it, you'll discover that it's very much a cartoon or a character shape, but I thought it would be accessible to everyone and give you a jumping off point for creating bears. With your tracing, when you flip the page, you can see what you've created. It's quite beautiful. So I'm gonna jump from here to here and I'm gonna start with my forehead for the bear, his ears, kind of this almost like block shaped head. I made this a little bit long, but I'm just gonna come down here to the arm and over here. And these are close to the body. And I'm realizing that I've made some mistakes here, but I'm just gonna keep going. Okay. And then put in his muzzle with his mouth and his eyes and his big old belly. Okay. Again, I said the word mistakes. I really don't believe in mistakes when it comes to art. There's only learning and trying. So that's how we make a bear. Let's do it one more time. I've got my dry erase board here. I love the shape of that forehead and the way the ears just kind of like come up like that. As I'm, as I'm um, drawing this, I'm just like so grateful that I have not run into this animal in the woods. Could you imagine running into a bear? I think that would be like really like, whoa. And I love how the way this is drawn, the feet kind of like go a tiny bit inwards, which again makes it almost a caricature shape. Okay, and then I'm going like this. And actually the way these are more like that. I'm gonna erase this and do that. Okay, put a little 
paw here, put some paws on the legs, put the big belly here, put the nose here, and the eyes here. Kind of a cool looking bear. There you go. Today, we're going to learn about African-American artist Alma Woodsy Thomas. Alma Thomas was a painter and art educator best known for her colorful abstract paintings. She was born on September 22, 1891 in Columbus, Georgia. While growing up, Thomas showed her artistic capabilities and enjoyed making small pieces of art such as puppets, sculptures, and plates made out of clay from the river behind her home. Thomas attended Armstrong Technical High School in Washington, D.C., where she took her first art classes. She earned her college degree in fine arts in 1924 from Howard University. This made her the first graduate from Howard University's fine arts program. Alma Thomas was also one of the first African-American women to earn an art degree. Thomas's early art was realistic, though her Howard University professors challenged her to experiment to make her art more abstract. In 1924, she began teaching art at Shaw Junior High School, where she remained teaching art for 38 years until her retirement in 1960. When she retired from teaching and was able to concentrate on art full-time, Thomas finally developed her signature style. Alma Thomas's artworks were inspired by observing nature. Alma liked to observe the plants and flowers near her home. She liked to observe how the sunlight changed the way these plants looked throughout the day. She liked to see how they looked after a rainstorm. How do you think the plants might have changed after a rainstorm? What about with lots of sunlight? What about in the evening as the sun was setting? Using these observations, Alma Thomas created her signature styled abstract paintings. Her artwork is known for its pattern, rhythm, and color. Many of her paintings are done in acrylics on large canvases. She made many watercolors that were studies for her paintings. Her painting style used both brush strokes in circles or in stripes. The colors that she chose were inspired by her observations of nature. In 1969, Alma watched as astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin landed on the moon, which became a new inspiration for her paintings. 10, 9, ignition sequence starts. 6, 1972, she was honored with an exhibition of her work at the Whitney Museum of American Art in New York City. She was the first African-American woman to have a show at the Whitney Museum. Alma Thomas passed away in Washington, D.C. on February 24, 1978. In 2009, two of Alma Thomas's paintings, including Watusi, were chosen by First Lady Michelle Obama to be exhibited during the Obama presidency. Her painting, Skylight, hung in the Obama's family private quarters. In 2015, the Obamas hung Alma Thomas's work, Resurrection, in the White House Old Family Dining Room. 
The painting was the first work by an African-American woman to hang in the public spaces of the White House as a part of the permanent collection. Alma Thomas is widely recognized as one of the most influential artists of the 20th century. so much for being here today, children. Week 28 of Drawing Paint for Life, the color alizarin crimson, drawing a standing bear, and learning about the beautiful American artist, Alma Thomas. Have a gorgeous day, and I will see you soon.